Who wields the power in Yemen today, and how did they rise to this position? A question that sends ripples across the geopolitical landscape. The answer lies in the heart of the Middle East, nestled amidst a tumultuous power struggle, with the Houthis at its epicenter. Their rise to power, their ideologies, their impact. It's a tapestry of intrigue and complexity. The Houthis, a group that once existed on the peripheries of Yemen's political structure, now commands attention on the global stage. To understand this we delve into the complex history and ideology of the Houthis. Our story begins in the 1990s, with a group known as Believing Youth. This was a relatively unassuming educational movement based in northern Yemen, focusing on religious and cultural teachings. It was a humble effort to counter the growing influence of Saudi-sponsored Salafism that was creeping into the region. However, this seemingly modest group would soon evolve into one of the most potent military and political forces in the Middle East, the Houthi movement. The metamorphosis of believing youth into the Houthi movement can largely be attributed to one man, Hussein Badreddin al-Houthi. A charismatic leader with a potent mix of religious fervor and political acumen, Hussein was instrumental in shaping the movement's course. He transformed believing youth into a force that sought to defend Zaidi Shia beliefs and customs, and to challenge the Yemeni government's perceived alignment with Western powers. The early years of the Houthi movement were marked by peaceful protests and community mobilization. However, the government's dismissive attitude, coupled with the escalating marginalization of the Zaidi Shia community, pushed the movement towards a more confrontational path. The government's attempt to arrest Hussein in 2004 for allegedly instigating anti-American sentiment led to the first Houthi war. This conflict resulted in the death of Hussein, but rather than quelling the movement, it amplified it. The death of Hussein Badreddin in 2004 marked a turning point for the movement, catapulting them into a full-fledged insurgency. Fast forward to 2004, the Houthi insurgency begins. A rebellion sparked by discontent over government neglect and economic underdevelopment, the Houthi insurgency became a pivotal chapter in Yemen's history. The Houthis, a Zaidi Shia group, led a series of uprisings against the Yemeni government. Major battles unfolded, tearing through the landscape of Yemen. The six Sada Wars, waged between 2004 and 2010, were a testament to the ferocity of the conflict. The turmoil intensified in 2011 with the Arab Spring, when President Ali Abdullah Saleh was forced to step down, leaving a power vacuum. Foreign powers were not just spectators in this conflict. Iran, a Shia-majority country, was alleged to have provided arms and financial support to the Houthis, a claim that Iran has consistently denied. On the other hand, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates led a coalition in 2015, launching military operations against the Houthis in an attempt to restore the internationally recognized Yemeni government. The Houthi insurgency was not just a military conflict, but a social upheaval that deeply impacted Yemeni society. The battle lines drawn were not just physical, but ideological, dividing communities and families. The war led to a massive humanitarian crisis, with millions of Yemenis displaced from their homes, facing famine, and lacking access to basic services. The Arab Spring, while a symbol of hope for many in the Middle East, became a catalyst for chaos in Yemen. The power vacuum created by the Arab Spring provided the Houthis with an opportunity to seize control. In the chaos of the Arab Spring, the Houthis seized their chance. Indeed, the upheaval that swept across the Middle East in 2011 provided the perfect backdrop for the Houthis to assert their dominance. The takeover of Yemen's capital, Sana'a, in September 2014, marked a turning point in the country's history. The Houthis, also known as Ansar Allah, took advantage of the power vacuum and instability to extend their influence. The government's inability to restore order played right into the Houthis' hands, allowing them to consolidate their power. Following the capture of Sana'a, the Houthis pressed on, taking control of other key regions. Their lightning-fast expansion was met with mixed reactions from Yemeni society. Some saw them as liberators driving out a corrupt government and restoring order. Others viewed them as oppressors imposing their rule and ideology by force. The international response varied as well. The United Nations, while expressing concern over the escalating violence, failed to prevent the Houthi advance. Neighboring Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates launched a military campaign against the Houthis turning Yemen into a battleground for regional power struggles. Meanwhile, the United States, long allied with Saudi Arabia, found itself in a complex situation. 
While its counter-terrorism efforts against Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula continued, the U.S. was forced to re-evaluate its support for the Saudi-led coalition, especially in light of increasing criticism over the humanitarian crisis in Yemen. The Houthis' rise to power had profound implications. It deepened Yemen's sectarian divisions, exacerbated its economic woes, and set the stage for one of the world's worst humanitarian crises. Yet, it also represented a new chapter in Yemen's long history of conflict and struggle for power. With much of Yemen under their control, the Houthis had become a dominant force. Their rise had not only reshaped Yemen's political landscape, but also sent shockwaves through the region and the world. And as we will see, their influence is still felt today. Today the Houthis remain a powerful force in Yemen. This isn't simply an observation, but a stark reality. The Houthi movement has consolidated its control over large swaths of Yemen, effectively ruling the country's north, including the capital, Sana'a. Their influence extends far beyond their geographical stronghold, shaping the political landscape of the entire country. Caught in the crossfire of regional power plays, Yemen has become a battlefield for proxy wars. Saudi Arabia and Iran, two regional powerhouses, have vested interests in the conflict, further complicating the situation. The Houthis, widely believed to be backed by Iran, are pitted against the Saudi-led coalition, making Yemen the stage for a larger geopolitical struggle. In recent years the Houthis have demonstrated a significant military prowess. They've launched missile attacks on Saudi Arabia, and have even targeted vessels in the Red Sea. This escalation in the conflict has drawn international attention raising concerns about the potential for a broader regional conflict. But let's not forget the humanitarian aspect. The war has taken a devastating toll on the Yemeni population. Basic services have collapsed, food and medicine are scarce, and the country is on the brink of famine. The UN describes the situation in Yemen as the world's worst humanitarian crisis. And yet, the conflict shows no signs of abating. In 2021, the US ended its support for the Saudi-led war in Yemen, marking a shift in foreign policy. While this move was largely symbolic, it signaled a potential opening for diplomatic efforts to resolve the conflict. However, it remains to be seen if these efforts can bring about a peaceful resolution. The Houthis, for their part, seem to be digging in, preparing for a long fight. Their control over large parts of Yemen gives them a strong bargaining position in any future peace negotiations. They've also shown a willingness to use their military capabilities to exert pressure on their opponents. The future of Yemen is uncertain, with the Houthis in control of large parts of the country. As the situation stands, it's hard to predict how the conflict will evolve and what role the Houthis will play in shaping Yemen's future. But one thing is clear. The Houthis are more than just a rebel group. They're a significant political and military actor in Yemen, and their actions will continue to have profound implications for the country and the region. But what drives the Houthis? What is their guiding ideology? This is a question that warrants a deep dive. At the heart of the Houthi movement lies a complex blend of religious, political, and social ideologies. As followers of the Zaidi sect of Shia Islam, the Houthis hold beliefs that significantly influence their worldview and political objectives. Their religious beliefs are characterized by a unique interpretation of Zaidi doctrines, which emphasize the role of the imamate and the concept of divine guidance. This religious orientation forms the bedrock of their identity and fuels their resistance against perceived threats to their faith. Politically the Houthi ideology is shaped by a deep-seated resentment towards foreign interference and a desire for greater autonomy. They view themselves as defenders of Yemen's sovereignty against external forces, particularly Saudi Arabia and the United States. This narrative of resistance and self-determination is a powerful rallying cry that has garnered them significant support among sections of Yemen's population. Equally important is the socio-economic dimension of Houthi ideology. Yemen, one of the poorest countries in the Arab world, has been grappling with chronic poverty, unemployment, and social inequality. The Houthis have capitalized on these grievances, positioning themselves as champions of the marginalized and the disenfranchised, they promise a more equitable distribution of resources and a break from the corruption and nepotism that have plagued Yemen's political landscape. However, critics argue that the Houthis' actions often contradict their stated objectives. Accusations of human rights abuses, suppression of dissent, and a growing authoritarian streak have raised serious questions about their commitment to the principles they espouse. Despite these controversies, the appeal of the Houthi ideology remains strong among their followers. It's a potent mix of religion, nationalism, and social justice that resonates deeply in a country torn apart by conflict and deprivation. 
Understanding the ideology of the Houthis is key to understanding the ongoing conflict in Yemen. Their beliefs and aspirations, their grievances and ambitions, all play a pivotal role in shaping the trajectory of this complex and protracted conflict. The rise of the Houthis has had a profound impact on Yemeni society. The repercussions of this upheaval are deep-seated and far-reaching with the nation's social fabric stretched to its limits. With the rise of the Houthi movement, Yemen has been thrust into a humanitarian crisis of staggering proportions, one that has affected every facet of Yemeni society. A prominent feature of this crisis is the widespread food scarcity and health crisis. With the ongoing conflict, the infrastructure has crumbled, making access to clean water, sanitation and healthcare a luxury for many. This has led to an alarming spike in malnutrition and epidemic diseases, with children bearing the brunt of this harsh reality. Education too has taken a severe hit. Schools have become battlegrounds, rendering education a casualty of conflict. The future generation of Yemen is growing up in the shadows of warfare, their right to education snatched away, their dreams stifled. The societal divisions have deepened too. The rise of the Houthis has polarized Yemeni society along sectarian lines. This sectarian divide is not a historic characteristic of Yemen, but a product of recent political developments. The unity that once defined Yemeni society is now fractured, replaced by a sense of mistrust and fear. The psychological impact of the conflict on Yemeni society is also worth noting. The trauma of war has left a lasting imprint on the collective psyche of the Yemeni people. The constant fear and uncertainty have taken a toll on their mental well-being, adding another layer to the humanitarian crisis. Moreover, the rise of the Houthis has also affected the role of women in Yemeni society. While conflict has brought hardship, it has also pushed many women into roles previously uncharted, from breadwinners to peacemakers. This shift, though born out of necessity, has the potential to redefine gender norms in Yemen. The Houthi movement has reshaped Yemen, with consequences that will be felt for generations to come. The impact of this upheaval on Yemeni society is profound and far-reaching, a testament to the long shadow that conflict casts on a nation's social fabric. We've journeyed through the rise of the Houthis, from a small religious group to a dominant force in Yemen. We've seen how the Houthi movement was born out of a blend of socio-political discontent and religious fervor. Their journey, which began modestly in the 90s, has seen them evolve into a formidable force, commanding significant influence over the political landscape of Yemen. We delved into the Houthi insurgency, a period dotted with the struggle for power, the fight for resources and the quest for recognition. This period was marred by violence and unrest, a time that saw the emergence of the Houthis as a force to be reckoned with. We observed the moment the Houthis took control, a pivotal point in Yemen's history that has drastically shaped the country's present and will inevitably impact its future. Under Houthi rule, Yemen has experienced significant political shifts and societal transformations. We analyzed the current state of the Houthis, a group that has not only managed to secure power, but has also maintained it amidst ongoing conflict. Their resilience and adaptability continue to shape the narrative of Yemen's political saga. We scrutinize the ideology of the Houthis, a complex blend of Zaidi revivalism, anti-imperialism and localism. It's an ideology that has not only fueled their rise but continues to underpin their actions and decisions. We assess the impact on Yemeni society, a society that has been fundamentally altered by the rise of the Houthis. The influence of the Houthis has permeated all aspects of Yemeni life, from politics and economy to culture and social structures. As we continue to watch the unfolding situation in Yemen, one thing is clear. Understanding the rise and ideology of the Houthis is crucial to making sense of this complex conflict.